Greetings folks, Dan here, and welcome to another edition of Kaiju Showcase. As I'm sure you already discerned, today's figure will be Windom, specifically the 2008 release of Windom. Now, most of you, or any of you that actually know me personally, would know that I would prefer to do an older figure, but I actually don't own any old Windoms. I'm trying to find one, but haven't had the best of luck. But we're going to talk about this one here, because this is what I got, and I really like Windom. For the key features of this one are the paint job. Again, it might not look that special, but all the little airbrush effects, the little gray, the darker grays here and there, the red and the eyes, it's all done really well. Windon wasn't a very colorful fellow to begin with. And he's mainly there, he's really just a, mainly a display item. I know some of you folks do uh, stop motion, not really made out for that. Uh, he doesn't bend very well, he doesn't twist very well at the waist, which I imagine you could force it, but I don't really want to. He almost he could do 360 with the arms, but I won't show you because I can imagine you know what that looks like. But they stop at his waist. You can do his classic wind on pose, but that's all you're really going to get out of him. He's mainly a display thing. Or if you have a younger kid that may like wind on, like my son, that then it would probably be a good figure for him. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. The detail's really good. Um, the thing I like about the newer mold over the some of the older ones are the arm size. Some of the old ones had very small, like really thin arms, and I really didn't like that. But I, I really dig this one. This has got it's proportioned very well. Apologies for the short review, but as I said earlier, there's not really a whole lot to say about him. I mean, it's Windom. He's just good for display, not for anything else. And if you just really like the character. But uh, he's got a really good history, I think. He appeared in Ultra 7, was his first appearance, the very first episode. He's one of Ultra 7's capsule monsters, along with Micrus and Agira. Didn't make a whole lot of appearances three times in the whole series. Uh, the second time he, he appeared was uh, generally a little bit about halfway in. They were fighting uh, Kanan Sajin, and, and he actually took control of Windom and had him battle Ultra 7, which was kind of, I thought, was very interesting. Of course, Ultra 7 didn't want to, you know, do anything too rough to him or beat him, but he managed to break the hypnosis before anything happened. And then later, Windom appeared uh, to battle Gut Sajin, and appeared to be destroyed. He was he, he was pretty much taken out. <laughs> and you know nobody knew knew what happened to him if he was repaired or he was just done with. Later appearances, non canon appearances, he appeared in the Heisei Ultra 7 series a couple times. He was uh very prolific in Mebius from what I've heard. I've actually not seen Mebius, but I know he appeared quite a few times and he also had an alteration where one of his arms was replaced with uh, a flamethrower. And I would like to get that figure if I could, and of course he's not going to uh, stand up for me here. Uh, but no, he appeared quite a bit in that. And his most recent one was kind of, I was actually kind of surprised he appeared, was uh, Mega Monster Battle Ultra Galaxy Legend, the movie. He made a really cool appearance in it. And even though it was short, he had like this epic uber move to take out uh, Salamandora, which I thought was really great. But I'm just going to show a clip of it to you guys real quick. So just watch this, it's pretty epic. As for availability of this specific figure, it, it is a newer one, so if you do like Windom, like myself, uh, you can get them, and he was actually probably one of the earlier ones I bought, and of course he wants to um, not oblige and stand up. Uh, but no, he, they're pretty available, uh, not as many as there used to be. Like, I bought mine a little over a year ago, and there are a lot more. Usually seem floating around ten to fifteen dollars. I would really not pay over fifteen bucks for it. There's a guy on, on eBay that pretty consistently has it for about ten bucks. That'd probably be the best way to go. Uh, as for any other variations, old ones obviously are harder to find. It just depends on when somebody pops up with one. I've actually only 
seen like one or two fire wind on him, and I'd like to have that also. But, uh, I mean, he's out there and new, so you shouldn't pay very much for him, really. But it's a good figure, as I said. It's just mainly for display and if you like it. But I just wanted to get this out here. It's probably kind of a short video, but I wanted to get it done because it's been a while since I've done one. And I've got a bunch of new stuff coming in and with Christmas. And I'm going to be moving again soon. And hopefully I can get a collection video out. But just keep your eyes peeled. I, I will be doing a few more of these probably here in the next couple weeks. So just keep your eyes open. Thanks, guys.